Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing kind of this glowy, natural, bronzy summer look since we are going into those summer and very hot months. I wanted to do something kind of natural but you know have a little twist on it. Give it that summer glow, make it kind of look and feel like you've been on vacation for a week. This look is very lightweight. I didn't use a lot of products and I just I love how glowy it is, especially for you girls out there that are like me. I'm very oily, so I like matte all the time. So this is kind of like a nice natural glow without being like an oil greasy glow. So for my regular people out there, you guys know the drill, but if you are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And also, don't forget to hit the little post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So if you want to see how I achieved this glowy, summer, natural look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by priming my face. So first I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then I'm going to use my Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresher. So for foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation, and I'm in the shade Soft Ivory. And I love this foundation because it's lightweight and it's a semi-matte finish, which is kind of what I'm going for with this look with it not being such a heavy look. And I feel like it gives me more of a natural complexion because it's not going to be full coverage and matte to where it's covering everything, but it's covering the right amount where I feel like I have a smooth complexion with keeping it light, especially in the summer heat. So for concealer, of course, as always, I cannot live without it. I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape and I am in the shade Light. To set my concealer, I am going to go into my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and you can tell that it is very, very loved. But I'm going to go in with the banana shade and the lighter skin tone shade and set underneath my eyes and my eyelids for our shadow later on. Next, to set my face, I am going to go in with my all-time favorite face powder, and it is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. Alright, going back into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm just going to go in with this middle contour shade and I'm just going to carve out my cheeks. Next, taking my stippling brush, I'm just going to go in and just kind of blend this into my skin just so it's not so harsh. For bronzer, I'm using my Wet n Wild Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. And I love this bronzer because it's light, so it's not going to be so dark and harsh on my skin. And it also has a little bit of shimmer in it to give us that summer glow that we're going for. For blush, I'm going to be using this NYX blush in Pink the Town. And I love this because it has kind of that orangey pink undertone, which I feel like is perfect for a bronzy look. Moving on to brows, I'm going to be using two of my favorite products. And the first one is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. And I have mine in the shade Brunette. And then I also have the Catrice Cosmetics Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel, and I have the brown tinted one.
So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Volt Collection palettes, and I'm starting off with the Armed and Gorgeous. And I'm going to go in with the shade Agent, which is a beautiful kind of brownish orange shade, which I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to throw that into my crease. going into the ring the alarm palette I'm gonna go in with the shade rush which is kind of very similar to the first shade we use but it's more of a darker orange with brown undertones to it so I'm just going in and starting to darken up this look and give it more of that bronzy look So for our shimmer shade, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows, and this is in the shade 997 Eternal Sunshine, and it's just a beautiful goldy color. So I'm just taking this on a flat brush, and I'm just patting this on the center of my eyelid just to kind of define it and give it that glow. Going back in with the shade Rush, I'm just going to go in and kind of blend out those outer and inner corners just to kind of soften it and not make it so harsh and just kind of blend everything together. Going back in with that same bronzer that we used earlier, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend it in to my crease and transition area just to kind of soften up those orange shades and not make them so harsh. Next, going in with my LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner in the shade Black. I'm going to line my waterline with that, but I do not want to show that because it kind of creeps me out. And then for mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, of course. And then for lashes, I'm going to be taking these Ardell Natural Lashes, and they are in the Demi Wispies. They are one of my all-time favorite, more natural lashes, but definitely emphasize what I do have. So I definitely love these for those lighter looks and to add a pop to my eyes. Next, taking my NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light, I'm going to line my lower waterline with this. And this is one of my all-time favorite tricks to just kind of brighten up my eyes and help me look bright and awake. Going back in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, I am just going to put a small coat of mascara on my lower lashes. For highlight, I'm going to be using my Morphe Babe in Paradise palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade Vacation. And I love this shade because it is that goldy champagne kind of highlight, so I love it for this kind of look. I think it is absolutely perfect. So I am just going crazy highlighting my face to give myself that glow. I'm going to highlight my cheekbone, Cupid's bow, nose, above my eyebrow, and underneath my eyebrow. For lips, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Lippy Sticks, and this is in the shade Hype Girl, which is just a matte lipstick, and I love that kind of corally shade that it is. And then I'm going to go in and top it with the Maybelline Color Joel Intense Lip Paint in the shade Stripped Down. And I'm just going to kind of dab this on my lips and blend it out to not only darken the lip color because it is more of a stained gloss, but to also give us that glossy look to help go along with our glowy look. Of course, to help this look last in the heat, I'm going to go in with my Morphe setting spray. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. It is just a kind of nice and natural, glowy summer look. Perfect for those days where you want to have yourself put together, but you don't want to be full glam, so it is just a nice 
and natural and just helps kind of emphasize everybody's features. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!